New information tonight on last week's fuel spill in Buncombe County. Sources tell News 13 five hours passed before cleanup crews took measures to protect area rivers. News 13's Ingrid Allstead is streaming live from Hominy Creek. And Ingrid, can you still smell the fuel? Five days later, and yes, you can still smell the fuel in the air. But new information we obtained today shows that if crews responded to the cleanup quicker, that fuel may never have reached this far downstream. After Kara and her owner Krista log their three mile run, a reward is usually waiting a drink from the river. Thankfully, we caught them first. We have water in the car, so we'll walk back. <laughs> She'll be okay till then. <laughs> Krista was unaware that thousands of gallons of diesel fuel spilled from a leak in a Harrison construction storage tank Friday afternoon. Some of it seeped into the Hominy Creek and the French Broad River. Five days later, and levels aren't down, says Hartwell Carson. It seemed to be significantly higher today. The recent rain may be to blame, says Hartwell. He also blames the construction company for not responding quickly. People were working on the site, but it was at least five hours while oil was flowing down the creek that nobody was doing anything about it. News 13 spoke to the Buncombe County Fire Marshal, Terry Gentry. He says it was until Inca fire crews responded to complaints of a fuel smell at an area soccer complex did steps to protect the river begin. The spill reportedly started around 1.30 p.m., but no booms were placed in the river until at least 6.30 Friday night, according to Gentry. But you got to think if, if five hours earlier, if booms had been placed, you know, how much would they have prevented from making it this far, making it to the French Broad River? How much more of that oil could have been soaked up and prevented from, you know, causing the damage it's caused? And as agencies continue to monitor the river, Krista says she and Kara will stay on dry land. You'd hate to see such a valuable resource to the city be damaged. Harrison Construction did not return my calls today. They may face fines. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources is monitoring this bill. Reporting live in Asheville, Ingrid Allstead, News 13.